Thanks for the privilege and welcome again to our next video as we consider a new topic today in this class. Today we're going to consider the real number system. The real number system. Now, what do we mean by the real number? Anytime we come across the word number, it always crosses our mind that it has to do with something counting. It has to do with counting something. Now, that is true to an extent. Now, any figure that you can consider in life, apart from complex number, is a real number. Any number that you can consider in life, that you can think of, outside complex number, is a real number. You know that what someone can say, real numbers are, these are numbers other than imaginary numbers. Even if you say so, you are also okay. If that is true, meaning the square of these numbers must be positive. When you take the square of any real number, the answer, the resulting figure, must be a positive number. Now, we, if we want to discuss real number, I can say that we can discuss real number in five different levels. In five different levels. One of it is the natural number. The natural number, where we use this to denote it, to denote it, then we also have whole numbers, whole numbers. In this case, we use W to denote it. W to denote it. Then we also have integer numbers. Integer numbers where we use Z, this will be using Z to denote it. Then we also have rational numbers. Rational numbers where maybe we use a Q to denote it and we have irrational numbers irrational numbers now we can discuss real numbers in terms of these different levels now before we continue with this I am also pleased to bring to our notice that sometimes when we are uh, dealing with graphs, sometimes we do have uh, some uh, a line of this nature where we will have this origin as zero. This origin as zero. And if you swing to this other left, all the numbers this way are negative, whereas all the ones this way, if we take this as our origin, say zero, then all these ones this way are positive. These ones to your right are positive, whereas these ones to your left are negative. They are negative numbers. Now, it is true that all the different partitions, they are of equal partitions, they are of equal dimensions. From year to year is the same, from year to year is the same, from year to year. Now, if you consider a meter rule, that is also evident. From year to year, the gradations are the same. The partitions are the same. And the same, the numbers that are within these spaces are also the same. So these ones are negative numbers. If we say this is one, then this will be negative half, one half. This one is negative two. This one is negative uh, 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 2.5. Whereas this one, if we have said is half, then this one will be one, positive one. This one is uh, positive half. 
this is 1, this is um, 3 over 2, this is 2, and so on and so forth. Now, within these different partitions, we can also identify other smaller numbers that exist. Like from here to here, we have said is half. From here to here is half. Now, if we consider other numbers, assuming we want to consider up to the say uh, here is three, then after three we have um, other numbers where we have some constant say three point one four da 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 da. Yeah, that is a uh, one four five and uh, nine two and so on approximately where this number is uh, pi where this number is pi and somewhere here we have our Euler number which is about a 2.7 da 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 2.7 that is somewhere here if it is uh, if here is straight then we can say somewhere here we have p which is our Euler number Euler's number well, we have it as two points approximately. Approximately, this one is also approximately, approximately three point something. This one is um, two point. Uh, this one is about two point one eight. That, that that so on and so forth. So, in other words, on this number line that we have here, sometimes sometimes we call it the real line, the real line, or we say the number line. This number line contains all the subtopics. All the sub points, sorry, all the sub points that made up real number. So this natural number, whole number, integer number, rational number, irrational number, all are contained in this uh, in this uh, number line. So if we want to discuss that, this is what we have to do. This is the different levels with which in which we are going to discuss um, the real number system. So conclusively, I can say that. I can say that the set, before I come to that, if that is true, then you can say that the real number system, the real number, this, this, this collection is also a set because they are all distinct, distinct collection, a collection of natural whole number integers, rational and irrational numbers. So we can say this we can also consider as a set. This we can consider because it's a well-defined collection as well, which comprises all this. If that is true, meaning that natural numbers, being that is contained in the real number system, and there are also other numbers that are left, then we can say that the set of natural numbers is also a proper subset of uh, that of the real. The two will come to that. But before I swing to another point, let me conclude by saying that the set of real numbers. The set of real numbers, real numbers, and its and its elementary properties and its elementary properties, its elementary properties is what we refer to as the real number system. So I am saying that the set, being that we have also confirmed that it's a well-defined collection, we are saying that the set of real numbers and its elementary properties is what we refer to as the real number system. So before I swing to the discussing each of these uh, ones, I have said that for us to be successful in real number, we have to deal with it in terms of these five different levels. National numbers, whole numbers, integer numbers, rational numbers, and irrational numbers. Now, let's consider the set of, set of natural numbers. Now, in the past, it's known that, in the past, it's known that Whenever we want to talk about uh, real numbers, the first notion that comes to our mind is just the word number, number. That is the thing that we are used to, number. And when we are talking about number, then it has to do with counting, as I earlier stated. It has to do with counting. Now, 
It might be number of houses in a particular place, which is also countable, which is also countable. It might be number of students in a particular class. Anything that is visible that is finite that you can count. Any countably finite set is what we refer to as a number in the past. So in other words, when we refer to the word number, these are things that we can physically count, such as one, two, three, four, and so on, and so on. This collection is what initially we refer to as number. Now I am here to declare that this collection that we are seeing is not just counting, you can also call it counting number, or we call it the natural number, because this is where the notion of number comes to play, natural number. So this one is what we refer to as the set of natural numbers. Set of natural numbers. And we can see that the set of natural it tends to infinity is countably infinite set. The set of natural number is countably infinite set. We can also see that. And another property, another good thing about these uh, natural numbers are when you collect, when you take the sum of any natural number, the resulting um, figure is also a natural number. When you collect the sum of any natural number, the resulting, the resulting answer is also a natural number, and they are all positive. Example, if we say y is equal to 2 and say x is equal to 3, if we want to say what is y x plus y, then directly we are saying that we are saying that we say 3 plus 2, which is 5. Uh -huh. Because we have said this is this and this is this, and if you collect it, so if you collect the sum and irrespective of how you put it, even if you say it's y plus x, it's still the same, it's the same thing as 2 plus 3, and the answer is 5. So, irrespective of how you place it, being that the two numbers that are into consideration are natural numbers, their sum is also a natural number. And when this comes to play, we say that. Natural numbers are close under addition. Natural numbers are close. Natural number, the set of natural numbers, the set of all natural numbers are close under the addition. Under addition. If you say this plus this or this plus this, the resulting answer is also a natural number. Now let's try to see if it's also closed under subtraction. Now we have y equals 2 and uh, x equals 3. Now if we say uh, 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 x minus y, what would be the answer? x we have as 3 minus 2 and the answer will be 1. The answer will be 1. The resulting answer is a natural number. It's a natural number. The natural number is positive. Let's consider this way 2 minus 3. That is, we are considering y minus x. Then, what is the resulting answer? The resulting answer will be negative 1. And the negative 1 is not a natural number. So, if you consider it in one way, you can see that it's natural y the other way. So, it's not consistent. Being that it's not consistent, we say that the set of all natural numbers are not closed under subtraction because when you take this subtraction of any two natural numbers, it's not always a natural number, like in this case that we have considered. So it's not the set of all natural numbers is not is not closed under subtraction. It's not closed under subtraction. Now let's try to see if it's uh, closed under multiplication and or division. Now considering, if we consider uh, these that we have, or let's say, let uh, our y be 2, and then uh, let our, um, say 3, let our x be equal to 6. Let our x be equal to 6. Now, let's consider y times y times x. y times x. Being that we have y to be 3, we say y 3 times which x is 6. 
The answer will be 18. The answer will be 18, and it's a natural number. Now, if we consider x times y, x times y, the resulting answer we are going to have 6 times 10 then, and the resulting answer is also 18. The all resulting answer is also 18. So irrespective of any number you take, irrespective of any natural number you take, they are the, 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 the product of two natural numbers is also, the resulting answer is also a natural number. So in this case, we can still say that the natural set of all natural numbers are also closed under multiplication. It's under close, is closed under multiplication. While for division, if we say x divided by y, then we are saying that 6 divided by 3, and the answer is 2. The resulting answer here is a natural number in this case. But if we do y, which is a, 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 a natural number, divided by x, meaning we are going to have 3 divided by 6. What will be the resulting answer? The resulting answer is 1 half. 1 half. And half is not a natural number. Half is not a natural number. So we say that it's not closed under division. It's not closed under division. So conclusively, we can say that, which is a theory, which is a theory, which is a theory, we are saying that the set of all natural numbers, set of all natural numbers, are closed under, based on what we have found, closed under addition, addition and multiplication. Multiplication, but not close, but not close under subtraction, but not close under subtraction, subtraction and division. So this is what we have. Now we have said from the beginning that if we want to deal with set of natural numbers I and mean the real number system that we are going to consider it in terms of five different levels the natural number, set of whole numbers, integer number, rational numbers, and uh, irrational numbers. And we have said that any number that you can think of apart from complex numbers is what we refer to as the, the real number. And the elementary properties and all these make up the real number system. And in it we have also seen that the set of natural numbers are countably infinite. Set, the set of natural numbers is in is, is, is a countably infinite set, and we have said that if the, they are also closed, they are also closed under addition and subtraction, but not closed under multiplication and division. Thank you for today's class. In case you are having any difficulty, you can come to our uh, 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 comment section and ask your question, and we are going to respond to them reasonably. For these examples that we have given, you can go ahead trying other figures to see if we will have variations, but I know that there are no variations. This that we have stated is true and is final. Thank you and God bless you. Please, before you go, try as much as you can to subscribe, subscribe. Don't just view the videos, subscribe. Click on the subscription button so that any this thing that we are, any video that we are uploading, you will have a notification for it. And it doesn't cost you anything. They won't ask you to fill in your data, your details for any financial transaction or anything. No, just subscribe so that you can be having a, a, a notification as we continue with this series. Thank you and God bless you.